Alrighty, good morning, good morning. It's two in the morning for us Eastern time right now as we speak. I'm gonna try to edit this down and get it out to you all before uh, before I head off. So jumping straight into it, Hot Toys dropped something on us about 45 minutes ago and it's an upcoming releases. For some reason they call it Backstage. I'm not familiar with that, but might be Backstage at Sacred Base. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna go ahead and dive into what we see here, what's missing, and what we would like to see. So let's go ahead and talk about what we have here first. Now I actually have the transport trooper and I have two of them actually, and I can't wait to get them in right here. I mean, they look, it's, it's pretty straightforward, right? We get a gun, we get some hands and we get the figure. I really can't wait to see that figure come out. And that is slated for May, 2022 to July, 2022. I already got my late notice from Sideshow. So unfortunately we just have to wait. Next up we have Moff Gideon. There's the box here. I would really like a better close-up picture of that portrait, but we can say that for everything up here, right? And I've been waiting to see a better rendition of his uh, of his portrait personally, but right here, it looks pretty damn good. It looks really, really good. This is slated for April 2022 to June 2022. We were actually supposed to have this in January to, I believe, February, but covid as you all know moving on though everybody the talk of the town we've got django fett which is slated for may 2022 to july 2022 i also have him transport trooper moff gideon django fett coming in i mean he looks really really good that armor looks super shiny i can't wait to see more on this figure i mean it looked like he's kind of in a flight pose but his thrusters might have deactivated or something who knows no no thruster flames <laughs> moving on we also have anakin and the stab now this one is expected to ship may to july 2022 I actually picked this version of anakin up it looks pretty good it looks like he's going to be floating on like a, a, a thin plastic piece there but i still can't wait to see this in its entirety i want to see the final rendition of that Moving on, we also have the Iron Man here. The um, This is more like the comic accurate version of Iron Man, right? So this is slated for July 2022 to September 2022. One of the very few figures that I'm going to bring up later on. I'm not going to bring up figures that, that go beyond July to September personally, because September you start dipping into the fall. So I'm going to just say maybe this is going to end up being pushed up and release sooner rather than later. Moving on, we also have the Iron Man Mark V. Now, there are two versions on the Sideshow site, and I'm just gonna say this is the reissue of the Iron Man Mark V because there is a Tony Stark Mark V suit up version that isn't mentioned here, and it's slated to release both of these. Well, this version here is what I'm gonna assume it is is expected to ship June 2022 to August 2022. However, the Mark V suit-up version is expected to ship July 2022 to September, but so is this Iron Man here. This is for July to September, and the suit-up version is as well. So I don't know, maybe they just pick and chose which Iron Man goes first. Maybe they don't wanna have too many Iron Man figures on the market, who knows? <laughs> Moving on. We do have Miles Morales here. Now on Sideshow, I don't think they updated their website because it's still expected to ship in March. Maybe, you know, they just didn't update their, their website, but maybe they should because we wanna stay up to date on those things. But dang, he looks really good. Moving on, we also have the Snow Speeder Pilot Luke and that box looks, I mean, you know, it's, it looks cool. I think it's just, it's really cool to finally see collectors get this one. I'm not personally picking it up. I believe my wife said that she is. I have to double check and see if uh, that's still on her radar or not. But man, I'm just so glad to see you all finally be able to get that. So let me know, sound off in the comments if you're one of them. This is expected to ship June to August. Moving on though, this, believe it or not, was actually just released yesterday in Hong Kong. Now, Hong Kong is totally different from the United States, right? Chances are it's off on the on the dock somewhere or it's making its way over. Who knows? For us, it's expected to ship from July to September. That's a long time. 
Moving on, though, we also have the DX19 Batman. Now, for us, expected to ship July to September. As you all know, we've seen the final product images of this guy, and they look pretty cool. Now, I'm not picking both of those up, though. I think my wife said something about getting the Batmobile. Again, another one that I'll have to double check on. We'll have her write and pin a comment in the, uh, in the comment section there for you all. <laughs> Moving on though, I definitely can't wait for this Miles Morales. Bodega Catsuit Miles Morales is looking awesome. And so is that art box. It's looking very similar to the standard classic suit Miles Morales. But wow, does that look cool. <laughs> I cannot wait to have this guy paid off, ready to go. This is expected to ship from July to September and it can't come fast enough. Next up, we also have Taskmaster here. Taskmaster's box looked pretty cool as well. I like all of the, uh, the cuts and the angles, and that looks really cool in the Black Widow icon there. Moving on down, though, to the Taskmaster. She's looking awesome. Now, Venom here is an interesting one because this is an on Sideshow's website. In fact, I believe this is a very small batch for collectors in Hong Kong. And it's made by, I, I believe it's a designer, um, a, a designer version of this figure by Instinct Toy. I don't really have too much information on this, but there are outlets selling them. It's just not coming through Sideshow. Now, with that said, though, with all of these figures being announced, I hate to be that guy, but I'm going to have to say something. There are a couple figures missing that should be in this group. But as we know, COVID happens and we... We know how it works, right? First up on my list, and I, I haven't paid off, Echo. Echo is expected to ship for us. I'm just going based off of Sideshow. Expected to ship between April to June. And up here, I mean, I, I'm shocked that Echo isn't up here. One that I'm very, very excited for. With Moff Gideon, where's the Dark Trooper? Where's the Dark Trooper here? I feel like one more box at least should have been right there, you know? <laughs> no Dark Trooper. That's unfortunate. Bo-Katan, April to June. That, that's a summer release. W Miles Morales, 2020 suit. W what happened to Miles Morales? Maybe it's one too many miles at, at once. Maybe they don't want to oversaturate the market. Maybe, I, I don't know. It would make sense, but. Everybody's favorite. What about Grogu? Gotta slap Grogu in there, the, uh, the one six scale figure set. What about the Tony Stark mech test deluxe version? But what about that? You know, just a couple, just a couple that I want to bring up to you all. Mysterio's Iron Man, uh, the, the illusion. Remember that? Looks really cool. A couple of them are missing, but as we all know, you know, resources and, and things of that nature, COVID overseas, it's, it's kind of giving them a hard time, right? It, it, these things happen. Getting back on topic here, I'm very excited for these upcoming releases. I'm I'm looking forward to having all of these soon. Hopefully sooner rather than later because I don't want to have to pull my money from Sideshow and put it elsewhere. But regardless, I just wanted to uh, share this with you all. Let me know what you think down below. Is this something, are any of these figures something that you're going to be picking up? I'm curious because I have quite a few up here. This is Jonathan with Boston Collectors. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the flippity-flop.